What is going on, Internet? My name is Lou, and I make Linux videos, and I put them on the Internet. Today, I'm bringing you guys a quick tutorial on how to use themes with the dock in elementary OS known as Plank. So first and foremost, um, if you guys like a GUI application method uh, to apply tweaks, I have not used this, but on elementaryupdate.com, there is a tweak tool very similar to GNOME tweak tool. It's actually a plug for system settings here or switchboard. And it allows you to do a lot of different tweaks. Um, I, on the other hand, prefer to learn how to do things the manual way. Um, one of the reasons being is I just enjoy it. <laughs> um, and other than that, if someone stops developing this particular application, uh, it would be helpful for you to know how to apply this manually in the future. Um, so if you wanted to use themes, you could still do them even though this tool um, no longer works. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this kind of the manual way, but don't get scared. It's very, very easy to do. So I'm going to show you something here in system settings. If we go into desktop and then dock, we have three different options here, icon size, hide mode, and theme. If you notice, I'm using Jupyter Redux as my theme. That does not come standard with elementary OS. That is this dock here. Um, so that's the one I prefer. Now, first thing we do need to do is we need to get a theme. Um, so if you do a Google search for Cassidy James Plank themes, um, you're going to come up with a DeviantArt link. Should be one of the top hits on Google. Um, Cassidy James is the community development manager for elementary OS, and he's put together um, some themes for Plank. So let's just download this one here, Hollow Plank Theme. This is styled, uh, styled after uh, almost uh, an Android type theme. So we're going to download that zip file. We're going to go into our downloads folder. We're going to move the zip into our home folder. This just makes things just a little bit easier. We're going to extract it. You can name this whatever you want. I will name it hollow. If we look inside of this, we're going to see a doc.theme and a hover.theme. Those are the files that Plank uses uh, to theme itself. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to have you guys open up a new terminal. But while you're doing that, we'll get screen key going so you guys can see what I'm typing here. So let's open up a new terminal window here. And what we want to do is we want to move hollow to the themes directory for Plank. So we're going to do that by executing sudo move forward slash user forward slash share forward slash Plank forward slash themes. Actually, <laughs> it would be helpful if I told, uh, told it what to move. We're going to move hollow. All right, now let's just hit enter. It's going to ask us for our password. And that's it. So if we navigate to that particular directory and we list we list out what's inside, we can see that we have default. There's our theme that we just moved, hollow, Jupyter Redux, matte, Pantheon, and transparent. So if we open up system settings, we go back over to desktop, then to dock, and now to our theme section. We can see that hollow is there now. Select it. And now, as you can see, we have the hollow theme. And using themes with Plank is that easy. So it does kind of this nice fade if you're not using it. Switch back over to Pantheon. And switch back down to hollow. And that's pretty much it. So that's how to use themes with Plank in elementary OS. I hope this video was helpful. If so, feel free to give it a thumbs up. That helps me out. Feel free to share it with your friends. And um, until next time, guys, we will catch you later.